Japan has qualified for the round of 16 in the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 after a comfortable win against Costa Rica, followed by Spain's victory over Zambia, ensuring both teams progress from Group C. Hikaru Naomoto and Aoba Fujino were the stars for Japan, scoring within three minutes of each other in the first half to secure three points for the 2011 champions. Japan's victory placed them on the brink of qualification, but they needed Spain to win to guarantee their place in the knockout stages with one game remaining. Both Japan and Spain, who are the first teams to qualify, have secured six points in Group C and will face off for the top spot in their upcoming match on July 31st. Japan will need a win to finish first, considering Spain's superior goal difference. On the other hand, Costa Rica and Zambia have been eliminated from the competition and will meet in a match seeking their first ever World Cup victory. Following their stunning triumph over the United States in the 2011 final, Japan's performances on the global stage have not lived up to expectations. However, under manager Fotoshi Ikeda, appointed after the Tokyo Olympics where Japan reached the quarterfinals, they have developed a side known for its impressive attacking and possession-focused football. While Japan will face tougher challenges as the tournament progresses, their opening two wins and seven goals cannot be overlooked. Manager Ikeda emphasized the team's focus on winning points and achieving their serious goal. The match against Costa Rica was decided by the 27th minute when Naomoto found the net with a low shot from the left of the box. Soon after, Fujino showcased her skills, shrugging off a tackle on the right wing and beating goalkeeper Daniela Solera at the near post for her first Japan goal. The victory was especially sweet for Fujino, who had earlier inadvertently prevented her teammate Risa Shimizu from scoring with a sliding tackle during a chance. Costa Rica was outclassed by Japan, as they were in their opening match against Spain. They struggled with nervousness in possession, lacked the technical ability to build from the back, and were inaccurate with long balls, resulting in constant loss of possession to Japan. Solera's goalkeeping heroics were the only thing preventing a more embarrassing scoreline for Costa Rica. Despite the disappointing results, Costa Rica's coach, Emilia Valverde, remained focused on the team's remaining match. When asked about her future, she emphasized her dedication to delivering the best possible performance for her team in the World Cup. Don't miss the thrilling highlights from this action-packed encounter. Subscribe and stay tuned for more thrilling matches and surprises.